Well, good afternoon. It's your old buddy Interp 66, and I'm back out here at the pond after a very, very cold night. All well, the temperatures got down last night to about 16 degrees here. And you can actually see some ice on the pond. But that's not my biggest problem. My little goldfish pond, as you can see, well, it froze over. In fact, this morning, at about 6.30, I looked out the door, and that filter had stopped working. The pump was pumping, but the filter froze up. So I had to come out here and disconnect that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to probably get the pond ready for winter. I'm going to definitely disconnect the other black filter over there. And I might even disconnect the tote filter. We'll see. I'm going to check it out real good before I do. And see what I can do. Right now the air temperature out here is probably 24, 25 degrees. Uh, the pond temperature is 32.7 right now, so it's just a tad over freezing. In fact, this morning the low got down to 32.4, so it's very, very close to freezing. And luckily, I've got my helper over there. Emily. Say hello, Emily. Hi. Yep, my helper. So we're both cold, and it is very, 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 very cold out here for us. Yeah, he sure did. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get off here for a minute and I'm going to take up that other filter right there, that black one right there. I'm going to take it up because this morning it almost stopped pumping too. And we'll get back to you. All right, I'm back. And if you noticed, that filter is gone and my tow filter is gone. I took all my filters offline right now. Uh, can't take the chance on the tote filter busting. We've got a lot of cold nights coming. So I took all the filters offline. The fish should be just fine. And it, I've taken the filters offline no more than about five minutes. And already, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can almost watch the pond freeze. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's impressive to actually watch the water freeze before your eyes. But what I'm going to do, I couldn't clean the filters today. But when we get a little bit of warm weather, just a little bit, enough so my water hose isn't frozen, I'm going to clean uh, all the filters, make sure they're working in good order, and I'll put them back when we get a little bit of warm weather. And I want to thank my big helper, Emily, for all her help today. Thank you, Emily. Welcome. She's been a big help to me. Absolutely. I couldn't have done a fighter. So. I missed that uh, water running. And I bet you by morning when I come out here, or probably later today, this pond will be completely froze over. But the fish should be just fine. In fact, the little goldfish pond, I took the uh, filter up, uh, but the water froze so hard I couldn't get the uh, pump that hose up but hopefully in a couple days i'll get them up get them out of there and looks like the uh goldfish are just fine you can't see uh, well I see, I can them. see some. yeah we see a couple down there. you probably can't see them on camera but they're doing just fine they're swimming around a little uh the water's this cold well they're not going to really do a whole lot of anything uh the air temperature out here right now is probably 26 degrees with a little bit of wind blowing and the pond's probably by now about 32.5, 32.6, something like that. So it is it is getting colder by the minute. And of course, you can sit there and almost watch the pond freeze before your eyes. So what we're going to do now is me and Emily, my big helper, are going to go in the house, start a fire in the fireplace, and get warm. The piece of ice that you threw from the hose uh -huh. is so Oh my gosh, it sure is. There's a little piece of ice that uh, skated across the top there. So, yeah. uh, if my water hose hadn't been froze, I'd have probably cleaned the stuff up. Uh, the other two filters I put in the garage. Uh, the tote filter I put right there. And the filter material in the tote filter I put over there and put rocks on top of them in that bucket. And when I get a chance, I'll come out here and clean them when the water hose isn't frozen. 
So, well, what we're going to do now is go back in the house and get warm. And I want to thank all my subscribers for all the support they give me. Uh, it means a lot to me. Please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and I enjoy it. Let's me know people actually care a little bit about what I do. And all, all my subscribers and all the people I subscribe to, I definitely enjoy your videos. Uh, I learned a lot, and I enjoy them thoroughly. So I want to thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Say bye, Emmy. Bye. Bye.